Well, we are going to leave you with a special report, the face-off over Facebook. Kapil Sibyl, as has been his wont in these past few months, has triggered another row by calling for checks on the content of social websites. Our reporters, Kudrat Kalo and Daman Thandi, take us through the buzz on the campuses and online and how Sibyl is so offline. Social networking sites are the most popular contemporary medium interface, so much so that according to some reports, India has 2.8 crore Indians on Facebook, that is fifth largest user base and is set to overtake US in terms of social networking websites. Facebook is a medium for us, to, for all our friends to be in touch. Facebook is a company value. हमने फेसबुक तक एक स्टूडेंट वास्ते बनाया है फेसबुक तक लेने लेने हैं ऐसी कुछ भी जो कोई नमी चीज करनी होती है तो वो तो पादन है तो सारे लोग कल तक पहुंच जाने भी कपिल सिब्बल यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर कम्युनिकेशन एंड इनफॉरमेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इस वर्ड अबाउट द कंटेंट ऑन द इंटरनेट are terrorists planning the next bomb attack discussing it on social networks then why such human cry कपिल कपिल सिब्बल जी ने इस पर रिस्ट्रिक्शन की बात की है तो हम एक ही हमारे यहां माध्यम है जहां से हम अपने व्यू यू नो सारे सोशली लोगों के साथ शेयर करते हैं और उसके बारे में अगर वहां पे रिस्ट्रिक्शन लगेगी तो काफी अच्छा नहीं लगेगा If India doesn't have enough cops to prevent men from committing nuisances on public walls, from where will Kapil Sibyl find enough cops to prevent nuisances on Facebook walls? We will evolve guidelines. We will certainly evolve guidelines to ensure that such blasphemous material is not part of content of any platform. We will. I mean, this will not be allowed on television. It should not be allowed on television. It should not be allowed on the print media. and it should not be allowed on this platform Sibyl even summoned officials of Facebook, Yahoo, Google and Microsoft and showed them a Facebook page that allegedly maligned Congress president Sonia Gandhi Sibyl told them that such content should not be allowed the Facebook officials made no commitment to protect Mrs Sonia Gandhi This kind of material should not be allowed uh, and uh, should be disabled as and when uh, it's brought to our notice and it is brought to their notice by the way mrs gandhi herself has not complained sibyl's plea for gentle speech on the internet is certainly reasonable but an appeal to good sense is one thing and searching for a way to forcibly eliminate indecency of any sort personal political or religious is quite another Now, who defines offensive content? And if a definition can finally be agreed on, then it is actually possible to keep it off the net. We have the right to speech and expression, right? We have the right to express our views. So literally, we can. Just say, "Bola gaya tha ki Google pe jo jitni bhi controversial cheeze hain, sare remove karne chahiye." I don't think so. Ki remove karne chahiye. Agar controversial hai, uska matlab ye nahi ki remove karwaye wo. Chhiye baaki baat rahi ki Facebook pe aisi cheeze daalte hain. To thik hai, youth nahi bolega to kahan bolega? इसमें पूरा पार्टिसिपेशन बनता है फेसबुक पे बात हो रही है ट्विटर पे ट्यूट हो रहे हैं दिस इज द मोस्ट डेमोक्रेटिक मीडियम एंड द मोस्ट एक्सप्रेस वे ऑफ एनी वन गिविंग आउट देयर ओपिनियन ऑन एनी थिंग और एनी मैटर व्हिच कम्स अप इन दिस कंट्री सो इफ देयर इज अ कमेंट मेड इन द मॉर्निंग इन द पार्लियामेंट बाय इवनिंग वी कैन हैव मोर देन थाउजेंड्स एंड टेंस एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ लैक्स ऑफ पीपल गिविंग आउट देयर ओपिनियन अबाउट इट In fact 72 years ago another Gandhi was subject to constant lampoons in the press. Sibyl's memory didn't go back to the days of Gandhi ji so he continued to fret about cyberspace affronts to his leaders. Gradually his thoughts took him to wider areas of concern. He reasoned that if he was offended by an insult to the holy family of the Congress won't Christians be offended to an insult to their holy family? A nasty comment about Ma Sita or the life of Prophet Muhammad could set all of India ablaze. We will not allow the religious sentiments of large sections of the community to be hurt in this fashion and we will not allow intermediaries to say that we throw up our hands we can't do anything about it. I throw an open challenge to Manmohan 
सारे समाज के सामने दुनिया के सामने एक ओपन डिबेट कमान मनमोहन मैडम ठीक है ना मैं चैलेंज एक्सेप्ट कर रहा हूँ ओके यस आई एक्सेप्ट योर चैलेंज In a nutshell, is it the lack of the due reverence that bothers Kapil Sibal? Any time the Prime Minister of the nation appears on any sort of media, should a good citizen bow down? Look at death now. You can't even die. One year. Look, empty my car. But who will bow down if he is shown looking ridiculous? absolute uh, rubbish and uh, manmohan singh is our prime minister and uh, videos uh, such as the, the singham uh, ones are really this is this should not be done and uh, manmohan singh uh, he's done so much for us and uh, people uh, making such videos and the youth being so stupid is really irrational and not acceptable i don't understand the outrage behind this manmohan singh um, video it's um, i mean caricatures have been there around in the newspaper since so long and people haven't kind of reacted to it it's just supposed to be taken in strong good humor so this video again is funny and he's not the first one you know for whom uh, this uh, this sort of video has been made and this video hardly has any views agar aisi videos ko hum bana ke aise channels pe dalenge like youtube फेसबुक जहाँ पे सिर्फ इंडियंस अवेलेबल नहीं है बट पूरा वर्ल्ड है आज के टाइम पे और अगर ऐसी एक्टिविटीज को वो देखेंगे देन हम शायद का हमें कभी एक्सपेक्ट भी नहीं करना चाहिए क्योंकि वो इंडियंस की रिस्पेक्ट करें एंड आई थिंक ये आज के ये आई थिंक ये यूथ को समझ आना चाहिए कि इट्स हाई टाइम की यू नो वी आर दैट अप ग्रोइंग कंट्री और हमें ऐसे एक्ट्स नहीं करने चाहिए एंड आई रियली फील बैड अबाउट इट और ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए था बट एनी वे इफ इफ जैसे किसी यूथ ने अपना टैलेंट दिखा है कि उसे ये सब करना आता है बट आई थिंक टैलेंट अपना अच्छी जगह पर दिखाए तो तो ज़्यादा अच्छा है It is also true that if you give people an inch, they will take a mile. Take people have even dared to spoof Osama bin Laden, and that too when he was alive. Unbelievable. Oh, I know she shot him with a gun. Yeah. Every politician knows that humor is his worst enemy. people must be stopped from laughing at their leaders at any cost i feel that any kind of control mechanisms are not really necessary because they do not work we don't have any way of implementing any kind of uh, censorship that we are thinking of and when we cannot implement it at the level of these lakhs of youngsters who are using the internet and who are using facebook and other websites uh, it doesn't really seem likely that this could be a successful kind of a program if he or she makes up their mind to write something it is very very difficult to curtail the functioning of a child and the government as such cannot uh, put embargo on this kind of a otherwise the whole independent functioning of a child will go for a six government ka kahi pe bhi koi role nahi hona chahiye regulation mein because it is nothing to do with them hum kuch cheez pe regulations restrictions tabhi lagate hain agar hamara kuch hamper ho raha hota hai and their picture is being hampered that is the only reason they want to impose regulations for mere hisab se jo shri kapil sibal ne statement di thi wo बहुत ही उन्होंने जल्दबाजी में दी थी बिना सोचे कि वो एक वो एक ऐसे हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के एक ऐसे भाग के ऊपर बात कर रहे हैं जो एक हमारा फंडामेंटल राइट है इंटरनेट इज सच अ डाइवर्स मीडियम एंड सो मेनी पीपल आर एक्सप्रेसिंग व्यूज ऑन दिस मीडियम पुटिंग सच अ रिस्ट्रिक्शन टेलिंग पीपल वॉट टू डिस्कस एंड आस्किंग दी इंटरनेट कंपनी सच इज गूगल या हू ट्विटर एंड फेसबुक टू फिल्टर सच मटीरियल इज गोइंग टू पुट रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन द फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन हम एक डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री में रहते हैं तो हमें राइट है कि हम कुछ भी लिख सकते हैं किसी को हर्ट हो या ना हो वो उसकी प्रॉब्लम है हमारी नहीं है तो यू नो डेमोक्रेटिक का मतलब ही है कि हम फ्री हैं हम किसी के बाउंडेशन में नहीं है मिस्टर सिबल इज सजेस्टिंग इज वी सी नाउट इज ऑन इंटरनेट इज नॉट एट ऑल एप्लीबल टू एनी लॉज इन इंडिया whatever someone wants to say they carry on saying it you can post absolutely everything so there should be some check because we are not living in an absolute liberal society we living in a civil society and civil society does have 
certain norms and corners, you have to obey the rules of the society. And statements uh, which affect religious sentiments, something which affects morality of the people in general, because as India, you know, we are very, morality is very important to us. And thirdly, something which, which is absolutely illegal. So these, I think, these are fair points and they must be stopped. Facebook or any other social networking site for that matter should be regulated because of course a lot of youth is engaging into putting maybe pornographic pictures, they make fake profiles, they send abusive messages or probably put statuses and all. So there should be a censorship so that these things can be probably stopped and the profiles should be blocked. Public verdict, especially that of the youth, is that the internet should not be regulated and comments do not to be screened. While objections relating to religion and communities could incite citizens leading to riots or even be a matter of national security, such a step would infringe upon the basic right of freedom of speech on the disguise of protecting citizens, thereby allowing the government to manipulate political content. Freedom of speech needs to be protected.